and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is longest substring with distinct characters which is marked as a easy level problem so let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given when string s of uh, string type of course and the maximum length of this string can be as long as 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 okay and all the characters of this string will be in the lower case okay all right and what we have to do is pretty pretty simple that we have to return the longest substring such that that substring does not contain any duplicate element okay what does this mean let's understand with the example but before that first of all let's understand what a substring means what a substring means substring basically means a part of the total string a continuous part of the total string okay so basically if you will see eks here so if i will include that into our substring so we have and let's suppose i include eks f till this point and after that i include gee -E into our substring so we cannot do that basically the substring should be continuous so if we want to start from e k s and we want to end till this e so this f o r will also be included then only it will become a substring because substring is basically a continuous part of a given string okay that is substring i hope sub what substring is will be clear to you so basically we have to return the longest substring such that it contains only distinct characters no duplicate characters are present in that substring and we have to return the length of that substring okay all right so if we will see this g e e k s f o r g e e k s g geeks for geeks so here one substring with uh, distinct characters is this G E G E. There is only two length substring, and we do not have any duplicate characters in it. Okay. All right. Next, uh, let's say distinct characters substring can be till this point. Okay. E K S F O R G. Here also you can see there are no duplicate characters, and the length of this is seven. Okay. All right. So earlier one was two. This one is seven. And after that, let's see another substring. Another substring is basically this E is there, and then again duplicate E. So we will say EKS. EKS is another substring with only duplicate with only distinct characters. Okay, so its length is three. All right. So what's the maximum of them? Maximum of them is seven, and I will return seven. Okay. There can be others as well. There can be others as well. Let's say EKS FOR. EKS FORG is already included. And then there are F O R G. So there are can be minimum various substring with distinct characters. We have to return the longest of them. Okay. All right. I think the problem statement will be clear to you by now. Now let's think of an approach which we can make. Okay. All right. So if we will see this G E E, basically let's take one more example. A, B, C, D, E, and then again C, and then there is F A. And then let's say Z. Okay, all right. So basically, I will start from the first character. Let's say A, and I will check if this A is already present or not. So no, it is not present. B is B already present? No. Is C already present? No. Is D already present? No. Is E already present? No. Okay. Till this point, there are no duplicate characters, and my till this point, my longest subarray length has become six. Let's become five. Okay. All right. After that, when I after that, I again get C. So I will check like if C is present in our substring part. In our substring part is C present? Yes, C is present. Okay. Now we have got a distinct, we have got a duplicate character that is C. Okay. How can we deal with it? Look, guys, we can easily deal with it. Basically, what we have to do, we have to start our new substring from that character. Let's say if I've got this C which is duplicate and my current substring is starting from very starting. So we have to now start our another substring after that duplicate character, which appears first time. Okay. So what does this mean? This means basically this C is duplicate and this C is present here. So our new substring will start from this D. We'll start from this D and then C will also be included. Why? Because look, this C is included. So we have to exclude that. And when I have to exclude this C, I also have to exclude my A and B because A, B, including A, B and then D, E, C is not possible without this C so because we have to get the maximum length of a substring. Okay. All right. So in this way, we can do that. And then there is D, E, C. 
and look after that i get f as well after that i get a as well so a can also be included and after that i get z and that's it so this is look first let me delete this so first the uh, substring with the distinct characters is this a b c d e okay and then another substring with the uh, distinct character is this d e c f a z okay which of them is the highest length this is five this is six so six is uh, longest one and i will return six okay i think a little bit idea of our approach will be clear to you so basically let's take another example any any example you can take uh, let me write again so it is a b c again b and then i will write e again d again c and then again let's say a and then e okay so this is our substring okay and now we have to check now like every time we have to check whether this character is present earlier or not okay whether this character is present earlier or not so how can we check that we can either use a map we can either use a set or we can use an array as well because we can use an array because only length maximum length maximum characters can only be 26 because this string only contains lowercase letters and lowercase letters length is 26 okay so we can use a normal array as well to count to check whether this element is present or not and we are not using set because we have not imported set here we have imported hash map so we can use that but let's do it without let's do it with array only okay all right so uh, let's start uh, there is an array with the 26 length and there i will be storing and there i will be storing the whether that element is present or not okay so its length is 26 i think you guys are getting so i will start from this a is a present no a is not present okay is b present no b is not present and uh, one more thing i will be having uh, let's say i will be having two uh, variables first one is i equal to 0 which will be telling me at any point ki my current substring is starting from which point our current substring is starting from which point j will be the end of that in the length of that substring current substring and answer will be maximum substring i have got okay till now okay so it is also 0 i uh, i is basically at this point for now because we are starting okay and uh, let's mark j downside so a okay i will increase the frequency of a that is zero index by one okay all right now my j will move my j will move to b okay so b is also not present because b frequency b is uh, let's say index will be this one index and it is empty so b is also not present so i will add b one to it okay after that i will move my j to c so c is also not present add c and after that i again get b so b is present now b is present here okay all right my j is currently at this point and b is present so what i have to do i have to let's say remove all the characters from this array and uh, let's say update our substring such that b is only present once i have got this b so i have to update my ai i have to update my i index till our till we reach our b till we reach our b okay so a is present first of all a will be removed its frequency will be made zero okay and look i have got i have to update my answer as well so when i will get a duplicate when i will get a duplicate it means my here look a b c 0 1 2 3 this is 3 this is 0 so my current answer will be 3 okay right j is at 3 i is at 0 so my answer will be 3 and uh, i have got a so i will remove update my i because i have to skip a and skip b as well because b is present now again i have got b okay i think you guys are getting till this point it's a bit tricky to explain it but i will try my best okay so now i will be updated to b okay so b i have already got okay all right so let's take, keep it because we have to already increase the count so i will not decrease and increase again okay so now look our new frequent our new substring will start from this c so that will be my i that will be my i our new uh, substring will start from c okay because b is already present so we cannot include b again okay all right so c is there b is there and now i got e okay so e is this i will add one to it okay now my j will move to d so d is also not present add one 
okay now again my d will my j will move to this c oh i have got c is c present yes c is present once okay so now what i have to do i have to update my new substring such that c is not present so look my i is is here is at c only so i will update my i once i will update my i once and also i will update my answer so what how answer i will update my current j is at which index a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 my current j is at 6 index my current i is at what index 0 1 2 Okay, so minus to four length, four length substring I have got, which is greater than my current substring three. So I will update my answer to four. Okay, all right. Now what I will do? I will update my i as well. Like because look, now I have got c, so I have to update my i such that c is not present. Okay, all right. So my i will be now pointing to this b. And uh, yeah, till this point we are good. So again I will update my j. Again I will update my j. J will be this. at this a a is present no a is not present i add a okay add a is added again i get e again i get e so is e present j is at this point is e present yes e is present 0 1 2 3 4 5 five index is e index so e is present okay now what i have to do i have to do whenever i will get a duplicate element i have to do three things first of all update my answer update my answer is what 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 j is 8 Okay, J is eight minus current i. Current i is what index zero one two three. Okay, five. So it is greater than my current answer four. So I will update my answer to five. Okay, I will update my answer to five. And and what I will do? I have to now start from that part from that index till from that where e is not present. Okay. So currently I am b. I will update my i from b to next part e. Okay. All right. So B is index will be now marked as zero because B I have to skip because I have to skip E. Okay. So E I will not mark zero because I have to increase it again. So of course I will not mark zero, but I will update my I to now be pointing to D. Okay. Because though I will update my I to be pointing to D because I will start from D because E I have already got. So I will not include that E again. So E till this point we have to skip. In this way we will keep on doing, and we will get our answer in big O of n time complexity, and my space complexity will be big O of 26 as well. Okay. All right. I think I have already explained this too much, and it will be very very clear to you, and you can write the code as well. So please pause the video and try to write the code. Okay. All right. I hope many of you will be able to write the code. But if not, let me write the code. But if you have loved the explanation till this point. please comment it down that uh, you have got the explanation please like the video and subscribe the channel as well okay all right so now let's move on to the code section first of all what i will do i will simply make an array of uh, let's say frequency is equal to new int of 26 length only why because i think you guys are getting ki why 26 because only 26 lower case characters can be present okay i will take few variables i is equal to 0 which will be marking what i equal to 0 will be marking the starting point of my current substring j will be marking the ending point of my current substring and answer will be 0 like the maximum longest substring i have got okay all right so j will should be less than s dot length i will run a loop while j is less than s dot length something like this and now what i will do i will simply keep on check, adding the frequency and all so first of all what i will do if look if and let me take a character as well so int char let's say int ch is equal to s dot char at j minus a so that i can get the my i can get the index of my current character which i have to use at multiple places okay so i will try to get it in the starting only okay all right so what i have to check look if this ch is already present in my current substring how i will know ki if frequency of ch is greater than 0 it means it is already present now i have to remove it but let's say if frequency of ch is equal to 0 if frequency of ch is equal to 0 i will come to this point and here what i will do i will increase the frequency of ch by 1 by 1 okay all right but but if frequency of ch is greater than 0 what i have to do i have to skip it means this character ch is already present earlier and we have to skip the substring till that point okay i think i have already explained this and you have to relate it with that so what i will do while 
i is less than j and then s dot caret i is not equal to s dot caret j okay it means till i am not reaching to the current in a character in the substring i have to keep on checking and we will update we have to skip all the characters till that point we have to skip all the characters till that point so what i will do frequency of uh, what i have to do s dot char at i minus character a and it will be equal to zero like skip all those characters till that point and i will do i plus plus after coming here i will again do i plus plus because look because what i am doing i am skipping that character okay and one more thing we have to also update our answer so whenever i will get a duplicate element my answer will be math dot max of answer comma j minus i okay all right and when i will come look i have to also increase j here so j will be plus plus okay all right and when i will come out of this loop i will again update my answer to answer is equal to math dot max of j minus i and uh, let's say i will return answer let's try to compile this once and i it will again do the dry run of it so that it becomes crystal clear to you although i have explained it earlier let's try to submit this once so please don't go anywhere if you have got this till this point i am going to dry run the code as well i think it is getting accepted so let's quickly dry run it with the, this geeks for geeks only okay so what i will do i will start from this g i and j both i is currently at this g j is also at this g okay and uh, my answer uh, my frequency array is something like this so i will first of all update g with one frequency i will update e with one frequency as well okay and then i again get e again that i get e so i will move to this frequency and this if condition here i will update my answer first of all to check if i have got a longest substring or not and other than otherwise what i will do look i if i want to start a new substring with this e i have to skip all the previous parts i have to skip all the previous parts how i'm going to skip previous parts key like may make the frequency of all the previous part is equal to 0 and and uh, keep on moving keep on moving and after that uh, like update the answer as well and also you will be thinking why i am writing at 45 line answer again because look very very easy it is let's say there is a uh, string a b c d e there is no duplicate elements okay so we will not go in this if condition at any point we will not go in this if condition i will move to else every time and i will come out of this loop so if i will not go in if this condition my answer will always be zero so we have to update the answer once at the last as well and we are done okay so guys please sit with a pen and paper and try to dry run it once by yourself as well and i think it will be very very clear to you so please subscribe the channel like the video and there is an extension as well so you can download it uh, with the pinned comment link i am going to